yeah, the Panther was a no-go again. I I think that's a beautiful but bracelet, but I, you know, I was I was injured. <laughs> I was injured. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be a really long video, but the topics that I cover is my makeup routine. Um, cruise. I compared the two cruises that I went on briefly and, um, and, and sizing of my Cartier rings and, um, my experience in purchasing something in the Caribbeans and customs and bringing it back home. Anyway, grab a cup of coffee, grab a glass of wine, whatever, and join me in this video. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I thought I would talk about the Cartier ring sizing. I have the Just Include Small, and I had to get, I started out with size 57, and then got uh, immediately changed to size 56. And I found that this is also big. Anyway. It's a long story short. I got for my birthday the Clash Ring, and I wanted to talk to you about how I decided on the size for this. But um, before I get into this, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. I think what I'm going to do today is to I have I'm I'm set up in my bathroom, so I'm going to go I'm going to put my makeup on as I talk about this. But I've already put my foundation. Um, I'm Basically, my routine for my skincare is pretty simple. I use Mario Badescu uh, uh, toner. I have very aging sort of my as you age, obviously you lose elasticity, and that's the biggest problem. And I have very dry skin, super dry skin. So I use the glycolic acid toner morning and night, and then I follow that with this. I swear by this. I've talked about this in my other videos too. Peptide Renewal Serum by Mario Badescu. By the way, I think the cheapest way to get Mario Badescu if you're into this product is, to me, is um, signing up for their uh, emails. And then whenever they have the 25% or 30% off, they do occasionally have 30% off sales on, on skincare products. And that's when I buy a bunch of them. Plus you get like a gift with purchase, like a makeup bag, some other, you know, free samples and things like that. So this, I swear by, I try to not use this, not using it for like a few days. And then I always end up going back because without it, my skin feels even more dry. Um, the facial lotion that I've been using for past six months is this. So after the toner, the serum, um, and then I use this. And and you know, sometimes I'm not so regimented in my skincare. Like if I get free samples of things, I might try them on and, and cross my fingers that I don't break out. So facial moisturizing, this is SPF 30. So I use that. I haven't really used eye cream. If I get an eye cream for a free sample, I do. If I don't, I don't. But the eye cream that, that I, when I do sometimes remember to use it is this one, and I get this from Costco. Costco usually has these at really good price. Feels a little cool sometimes. Okay, that's it. And then for extra protection for sun, I have the BB cream. It's so used up. Look at this. It's all like, all the letters are gone. I think it's called hydroxetone um, BB cream. But it's running out. I got this at Amazon. And you know, they say once you open it, you're supposed to get rid of it, but it still seems okay. So I'm guess, do you guys do that? Do you guys just, like if it seems like it's still okay? And plus it's not like I'm dipping my fingers into this. And it just gives a little bit of sheer coverage. If you need a heavy coverage, I don't think this is the thing for you. The other thing that I just discovered on this trip, um, usually I get most of my makeup from drugstore because I refuse to, I think it's a bargain and give it. But see this right here? It was worse. It was like a, it was like a scab. It was a dark, dark scab. So I needed to cover it up because for the pictures that I was going to take during my cruise. So I, we were running out of time. I mean, this happened like the day of us leaving. So I ended up getting something at, on the cruise ship and it is the Dior, um, 
Forever Skin Correct. It's a skin corrector concealer, and I got the color 2N. Slightly lighter now. A little goes a long way. And see, it's, it was a better match before I got a little tan. But it really covered it up. And I, I tell you what, it, it stayed all day. Uh, obviously not when I was in the salt water, but it's, it was really good. You really shouldn't be listening to me on how to put on makeup because I really don't know. The other thing, the eyebrow pencil, as you get older, you know, I don't dye my hair anymore. So my hair is completely gray, but I'm starting to find that I'm getting white hair on my eyebrows. Who knew that would happen? So either I use the Excel, this is the eyebrow pencil or, or I don't know what this is, but I'll link these. I've used both of these. They both seem to be about the same. They're from Amazon. Um, I, I forget what this is called, Han. I, I think this is Korean brand, Classic Gray. I used a Classic Gray. And I just go like, try to follow my natural arch. I do, it's my, my brows are very sparse. Okay. And then, see the dark lines, and then I just brush it to make it sort of blend in. And then for makeup, I swear by this, I, this is what I take whenever I go traveling. This is Tar Charlotte Tilbury. This has the eyebrow, the highlighter, the blush. This is Instant Look in Palette, Gorgeous Glowing Beauty, five minute face on the go. And this is, this is just, the real technique brushes. I don't go with really expensive brushes. How often do you guys wash your brushes? This hadn't, these haven't been washed for a long time. And then this is e.l.f. blush brush. Again, these seem to work okay. And then for, I think this is e.l.f. I just use this color. I don't like any shiny stuff all over on my eyes for like this one or this one because I have kind of hooded eyes. My hair, I top of my eyelids have gotten sort of droopy, or, and I, I just do the thing on the end, just to not too much in the middle, like this. Good enough. And then the eyeliner. This seems to last. I have again my eye. This the eyeliners always get smudged, but. This real strong eyeliner, eyeliner tattoo seems to last most of the day. Not all day, but most of the day. And again, I think I got this at Amazon too. And because my eyes are hooded, it does, I have to let it dry first and then open up. Um, and usually that's it. I don't even put mascara on unless I'm going somewhere. Did I talk about this? This is an item that I always use at nighttime, right before I go to bed. This is a final lotion. It's the Moisture Surge Overnight Mask by Clinique. I swear by this. I mean, this is so good because if I don't use it, if I use it, my, my skin in the morning feels like baby's bottom. It's so wonderful. The other thing that I always use if I'm using waterproof mascara is Zero. This is a, this is a makeup remover. I just like, glob it on and everything seems to just melt. It's one of these things. Let's just put a little bit, rub it, and, and then Neutrogena to wipe it. Um, lipstick, I don't buy. I either get cheap lipstick, drugstore lipstick. This Glossier, I don't know where I got this. I almost bought this lip tint by Chanel. It was $47 on the, on the cruise ship and that's without tax. Um, because it was all duty free on the cruise ship. I was almost bought it because somebody was highly recommending, oh my gosh, you could eat whatever and it'll just stay. And it does. It was, uh, forget what it was called, but it had the, the color. And then on the other side was like a gloss and the color stayed all day through. So if, you know, if, if it wasn't for my principle of <laughs> spending that kind of money on lipstick, I might have bought it and I'm sure if I find it, I, if I look at it, look for it in the drugstore market that I would be able to find something similar. If you guys have a great lip tint product that doesn't dry out your skin, your lips too much and lasts all day, I'd love to know what it is. Okay, that's it. 
And then my, my earrings. I just have the Ana Luisa earring that I've had for years. This is still going really well, really strong. Um, I, this is like my go-to kind of a earring. If I don't want to think about anything, it's so comfortable. Again, not sponsored. Um, I did a video on issues that I had with Ana Luisa, but, uh, I think they dealt with it. It's been so long, but like, I love this. This is so easy. So simple, it's nondescript, whatever, it's done. All right, this is my, normally I don't even wear makeup, but if I was to wear, wear a little makeup, this, this would be my routine. All right, so let me talk about the cruise ship that we went on. It was a Celebrity Ascent. It's the newest ship, which is why we went on this cruise and we went to uh, Bahamas, no, yeah, Bahamas, um, Nassau, Nassau is where we ended up stopping. And I put some pictures on my Instagram. Um, it was all right. I, would I go back to Nassau just to hang out? I don't think so. I, I didn't buy anything. They do have a Cartier store there, but we had to, from the port, we had to take a taxi for half an hour and it wasn't worth it to me to spend that time doing that. So, you know, we just sort of walked around the beach. It was pretty, there were some trash. If you saw my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. And then we stopped by at Cozumel, Mexico. That's great. What I liked, we went on two cruises back to back. Then. So, so I should be, I don't, this isn't going to be like a review on cruise ships, but we do go on a lot of cruises. The last cruise that we went on was Norwegian. It was a newest ship, Viva. And this is a newest ship in Celebrity. And I have to say, I liked the Celebrity much better. The food was better for dinner. I wasn't too impressed with either one of them for buffets. They're okay. There's a lot of selections, but the food taste was, eh, it was okay. I love that bread though in Celebrity. Um, the problem that I had with Norwegian B Viva was that the buffet was like all in one line and it just felt super crowded. We couldn't find seats. It was like jockeying for tables. Um, celebrity, the, there was the Asian station, the Mexican station, the you know, the Indian station. And so it was sort of separated out and there were plenty of room and I never felt like I, I, I didn't have a place to sit for um, breakfast or, or lunch. Usually we go out for dinner. We either do specialty dining or regular dining. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Arrête. Les <laughs> and for celebrity, it was excellent. Um, Norwegian was good. I have to say, if I was to, uh, it's not to say Norwegian wasn't great. What I was disappointed with Norwegian versus celebrity was that I felt like celebrity had more activities on sea days. Norwegian um there was a video arcade but if you're older like me if we're not kids and th they had more norwegian had like water slides celebrity doesn't i felt like i feel like celebrity clientele was a little older um it's less kid friendly in a way that there's not many like water slides there wasn't any water slide it was just pools and there was no video arcade some ships like royal caribbean would have like there was one that we went on which had, which had an ice skating rink. And um, Norwegian that we went on had a race car track, which was great. We did that twice. Overall, they were both good, but if I had to choose one, I would choose a celebrity to go on again. That said, I still have credit in Norwegian, so we'll probably go on Norwegian as well. So let me talk about um, Cartier. Uh, we went to Grand Cayman Island and we did snorkeling and it was, it was very choppy. The weather wasn't great. Um, with the stingrays, it was a lot of fun. There is a Cartier and, and a Volgari as, as well as Rolex. I didn't see Hermes or Louis Vuitton or anything like that. So we went to the Cartier's store and we, I, I, I ended up buying the Clash ring. I was thinking about getting the bigger size or the regular size of Just Include because this is the size that's a small, thinner Just Include. This is size 56. The thing with this is that if you put it right where the bone is, it will hurt. So, but you know, you turn it like that. Um, and 56 was working okay on my index finger, but sometimes my finger sizes will fluctuate. And 
you know, this was big enough that when my fingers were thinner, it would be like spinning around and I'd be a worry that it would fly off. But I felt like for the most part that this was getting kind of loose and it, I only could wear it for these two fingers. Again, this is size 56. So I've been thinking about the clash ring. Um, there is the prices. I'll tell you the price. I'll put down the price that I paid at for, for this now. Um, it's duty free. So there's no tax. They did not ask for a passport. They just, they were fine with my driver's license. I don't know if it's because I'm from, I'm American. I don't know what it would be if you're a European, but they just asked for my driver's license and I just paid it with my credit card. And so I asked about customs and they said, you know, that's up to you. <laughs> but that said, let me tell you about the customs from the cruise ship. We got off the cruise ship on in Fort Lauderdale and I was all ready to fill that out, but the, nobody asked to fill out, declare anything. So I just walked out, walked out. So this was essentially duty free versus when I, whenever I come back from Europe or uh, back to the airport, you have to go through customs and they make you fill out a form and, and declare stuff that you bought. And, and if it's for us, it's per person. If it's 800 under $800, you don't pay due customs tax. If it's over $800, then you do pay customs tax, um, for each person in the family. So if there's two of us, that would have been $1,600. That would be duty free. And then above that, there's a percentage, depending what it is that you pay for customs. And, and really what I found for customs is that it depends on the customs um, officer. Sometimes I declare, I mean, I always declare, declare, but sometimes I pay customs amount and it's not that much. Sometimes they just let me through. So I've gotten lucky a couple of times where they just let me through, which was great. Um, but this time nobody asked for, you know, customs form to be filled out as we were getting off the, the cruise ship. So as, as far as the sizing is concerned, this is a size 55. I did try the one with the diamonds around it and I didn't like it because the diamonds protrude even more. And so it felt kind of uncomfortable on the sides. And I also didn't like the look of the ones with the diamonds. I, I like the simple look without the diamonds. There's enough going on in this ring that I don't think that I need the diamonds for. What do you guys think? Um, so this ring, which is size 56, in the size small, when I tried size 55 for this, it felt like it fits better. So I feel like now I should have gotten a size 55 if I was to get this. However, when I tried the size 55 in the regular size of this, regular size, meaning it's thicker, um, I felt like it was slightly too snug. So if I got the regular size of the Just and Clue ring, I would, I would probably get the size 56. Now, let me know what you guys think. Is you guys find this to be the case or not? I tried the size 60, 56 on this and it felt bigger. Size 55 was a right fit. The reason why this is so comfortable, even though it's wide, which if, you know, as you get wider in the rings width, like this width here, you sometimes have to go higher in ring size just because the, the width makes it so that, you know, it's more constricting. But this one, if you look at the inside of it, there's a, there's a little bit of a bump right in the center and the, the sides kind of fall away. See how there's a inner middle is a little higher, raised higher than the either side. So it looks wide, it looks substantial, and this is a size small. I didn't want to get the, the small meaning the width of it. If it's really comfortable. I mean, bottom line, it's really comfortable, even though it's wider looking and it's probably a, almost as wide as the regular size just in clue. It, it feels comfortable just because you have that wiggle room on the side of the inside of the ring where your skin sort of has room to sort of spill over. Does that make sense? So that was the sizing that I ended up going with. I ended up going with the size 55. I could wear it in this finger, this finger. When I was exercising and eating lots of salty food and I was able to put it on here. Right now it feels a little loose here and here, of course. 
it depends. So I, I feel like I had four fingers <laughs> to really play around with only because of the design of this ring being not looks wide, but has the a little more give because of the design inside of the ring. I hope that made sense. Let me know what you guys think if you have this ring. I absolutely love it. Now I love the fact that I have this set. I was thinking about getting the earrings, but I'm like I said before, I'm paranoid about losing my earrings. I have lost so many different earrings that fell off and I would just, you know. The other thing I tried was the Panther bracelet which this is the second time I tried I tried on the Panther bracelet. The first time was in Hawaii several years ago. And I think I made a video about it where I ended up not getting that and I ended up getting the Justin Clue regular bracelet um, because the Panther was like, you had to stretch it open, kind of like the Justin Clue small. You have to like, you stretch it open, stick your uh, wrist in from the sideways and turn, right? And what I found back then in Hawaii was that the head of the panther and the tail of the panther would be like skewed off, like a, as, as I kept playing around with it, it kept going off. This time that did not happen. The head and the tail matched up even after I put my wrist in. The problem was, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a little bit of a, I got hurt. <laughs> I bled, I was bleeding. But as I was trying that back and forth multiple times, all of a sudden my husband goes, oh my gosh, you're bleeding. You're bleeding. I had a big drop of blood, a huge drop right here that was ready to drop off. And I was like, oh my God. And so immediately the sales associate went back, came back with a um, uh, alcohol pad and a Band-Aid. And I said, does this happen to other people? Because <laughs> she came back with that immediately. I was like red all over. I had my skin had peeled off on the side and it was too hard. I, I just couldn't figure out how to use it. My husband loved that bracelet, but, and I loved it too. And I think it's, it's shiny. So I think over time, um, those of you who have that bracelet, let me know what your wear, wear and tear is over time. But I, it's, it's a beautiful bracelet. I just couldn't put it on and off well enough to spend that kind of money. So yeah, the Panther was a no-go again. I, I think that's a beautiful but bracelet, but uh, you know, I was, I was injured. <laughs> I was injured. So that's it. I, I sort of rambled all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give this a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell notification, and I will see you later. Bye.